teams are just joining us here on the field of play, led out by Tom Boyd at the front there, and Bill Neville. Yeah, well, Tom Boyd again resurrecting his role as captain, captain of the, uh, the team that stopped the 10 in 98. And as you say, uh, Kenny Phil Neville, former Manchester United and Everton player, he leads out Rio's All-Stars for the, the start of the game. And the last introduction, of course, is to Paul McStay and Rio Ferdinand. Paul McStay in the hoops, number eight. Doesn't get any better than that, Kenny. It doesn't, it doesn't. And as you can see there, I mean, the stadium, everyone stood applauding the return of the maestro. And there's going to be a, a mass huddle, I think. A giant huddle. And, of course, the Celtic fans chaining that. Goes to Cole, to York, to Cole. Oh, and it's in the back of the net. It's that combination that won so many trophies for Manchester United. And the first goal of the game after 15 minutes goes the way of Andrew Cole. Well, an early goal, and it's went for Rio's All-Stars. chance, it's a second goal and it looks as if it could be, is that Mr Rizzlekicks? Is it Jordan Stevens with his first touch and he's just knocked the ball into the, the back of the net? Thank goodness I never offered to sing a Rizzlekicks so <laughs> you, you talk about making an introduction here, I'm making an impression at Celtic Park I mean, Jordan Stevens, well done first touch and uh, Ralph Lyle jokingly saying take him off because it's not going to get any better than that for him and I think he's absolutely right. Well, played into the box, headed up into the air by Rio Ferdinand. Machiavelli volleys it into the back of the net and that is spectacular vintage Machiavelli. <laughs> Superb. Goal, the ball dropped ahead of Rio Ferdinand and Machiavelli blasts it into the back of the net. My goodness, that was an absolute belter. I think he, the surprise and delight in his face, I, I'm sure, kind of sums it up. But I mean, Frank Machiavelli, it's, that's okay, wank, isn't it? You really wouldn't have expected that as he came on, but there you go, absolutely Once sensational again, finish. Tries to knock it through, looking for Lubo. Still Lubo up against Tomlinson, surely a penalty. <laughs> and Tomlinson, well, there was only one direction the referee was going to point there, and that was to the penalty spot. And Lubo Maravchik has used all of his wisdom there and years of experience to draw the challenge from the unfortunately placed pop star there. Well, James McAvoy is going to take this one, I think. Surely a chance, a chance to score at Celtic Park. You don't want to mess that up. So no pressure on James McAvoy. This could be a dream come true for the Celtic fan, the Hollywood actor. He started with some blockbusters, but can he have had a more nerve-wracking role than this? A chance, the number 18, to put the ball in the back of the net, to score at Celtic Park. And he puts it in the back of the net. He scored! at Celtic Park and delight for McAvoy delight for Compton it's two each well James McAvoy I have to say that was a wonderful penalty sending Kushak crashing to the ground and he put it high into the top of the net and with that he draws his all square here and James McAvoy just revelling and scoring that wonder goal there from the penalty spot Combines with Hart 
Robinson. Hopped over to Ray, and it's Celtic on the attack. Yeah. Butchu, maybe racing forward, curls it to the far post. Oh, he tries to curl it in. The ball's dropped, and it's Hartson in the back of the net. Well, Lubo, he almost took the goalkeeper by surprise with that shot. Kuzak stopped it but dropped it, and there was Big Bad John to fire it into the back of the net. 3 2 to the Paul McStay's Maestros. Well, he's been pulling the strings all afternoon, but Lubo Maravchik was the architect of that goal. A deceptive cross to the back post. We've seen it so many times when he wore the hoops with distinction here, but as that was spilled into the path of John Hartson, he needs no invitation to make it. 3 2 in favour of McStay's Maestros. A day when charity was the winner, and uh, Paul McStay's Maestros have won the game by three goals to two in an entertaining afternoon here at Paradise. An entertaining afternoon played in a fantastic atmosphere here. The Celtic support have turned up to cheer on the former footballers and those from the world of entertainment. have been a real credit to themselves, creating a great family atmosphere here as well. And with that, the game draws to a close, and thankfully, as a victory for the team wearing green and white this afternoon. First and foremost, thanks to the guys that have turned up, um, given their time, really appreciate it. Come from far and wide, um, really, really appreciate that. And to all you guys who have made the effort, the fans, the people behind the scenes, really appreciate it. But the, uh, the foundation um, is, is, is the things that benefit from this. I think the Celtic Foundation and the Rio Ferdinand Foundation the proceeds that go towards helping young kids. We've got three or four of the young people here that have come through that system, who are now in employment, uh, have got education, and a, a, a real platform for life and for, for, to do positive stuff in the future. So that's what it's about, and hopefully we can do it a bit more again. And again, what, a special thank you to Mr. Paul McStay, a hero of mine when I was a kid, for coming and making this happen as well. Oh, it's been a fantastic day, and thanks to all the players. Thanks to all your fans out there for coming out and supporting this. Uh, I was saying earlier on, there's always been fantastic European nights here, Champions League, and fantastic league games as well. And all the fans turn out, turn out in force. But today is another special game, and that's what the club's all about. Games like this, occasions like this. I'd just like to thank you all for coming along and supporting two fantastic organisations, Rio Ferdinand Foundation, and the Celtic Foundation. Well done, guys. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one more time, let's hear it for Rio Ferdinand and the maestro, Paul McStay!